Hi guys and welcome to this video. My name is Jaime Valencia. I'm part of the PDI Technical Advisors in Cisco. And today I'm going to show you how to upgrade a call manager 8.6 along with a present server 8.6 as well to an 11.x version. I'm going to include the procedure on how to install the cop files, how to change the virtual machine specs and the procedure. I hope this is useful for you. The upgrade scenario that we are going to be doing in this video is going to be a COCM 862, which is on the latest release available. As you can see right now, I'm in the OS admin. And also, I installed an IMM present server, which is going to be on 865. Our very first step is to go to software upgrades, install upgrade, and we need to install the version 3 RSA keys. We are going to choose the Cisco CM version 3 keys, then we click next. If you want to verify the MD5 hash value, you can get it from the Cisco.com website. In this case, a notice is correct. I'm going to click next. And we're going through the installation. And we were successful installing the version 3 key files. I'm going to do the same on the IUMAN present server. And we're going to choose the version 3 keys file. We click on next. And as you can see, it was successfully installed. We are also going to install another file on the servers. And this time we need to install the VMware disk size reallocation cup in order to change the hard drives that I have that are 80 gigs into 110. Just as with the previous file, you can look at the MD5 if you want to verify it in the Cisco.com website. I'm going to click Next. As you can see, the installation was successful. We're going to do the same thing in our IMA present server. And we're also going to install the disk size reallocation cup file. We're just going to click next. We have successfully installed the disk size reallocation on our IMA present server. Our next step is going to be a sphere, and we need to change the guest OS and, if necessary, the virtual CPU, the virtual RAM, and the bit disk space. Before we change the specs of the virtual machines, we need to shut them down. I usually do this directly on CLI. We're going to start with the COCM machine. And we're going to do the same thing with the IEM Press machine. Once they shut down, we are going to change the virtual machine specifications, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Once the virtual machine shut down, you need to compare your current settings to that of the target version. In this case, for CUCM, I have two virtual CPUs, I have 6 gigs of RAM, and I have two 80 gigs virtual disk. If you take a look at the 7500 user OBA for 11.0, we still have two vCPUs, we have 8 gigs of RAM, which means that we need to change that, and we only have one virtual disk. We need to adjust that configuration. So we go to the virtual machine, we right click on it, edit settings, the memory we're going to increase to 8 gigs. In case that we require to change the virtual CPUs, you can do it in CPUs and you change this to the number that is required. And we're going to change the second disk. This is very important, you need to change the second disk for the size. We need to change it to 110 gigs. 
Now we're going to take a look at the IAM and present server. In this case, we have two virtual CPUs, we have four gigs of RAM, and this one also uses two 80 gigs virtual disks. If we look at the configuration for that same virtual machine on 11.0, as you can see, the configuration remains the same. In this case, the only thing that we need to do and that I'm also going to do with CUCM is to change the OS. We go to edit settings, you go to options, and we're going to change this to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 64 bits and we're going to do that same change in the CUCM virtual machine. Now the next thing that we are going to change is the network adapter. In order to do that we go to data stores and data store clusters. In this case my virtual machines are located in this data store. We right click on it and we click browse data store. We need to locate the BMX file, we we'll right click on it and we we'll click on download. And we need to do the same for the IAM and presence. Once you have downloaded the files, we are going to create a copy of each one to have in case something goes wrong. In my case, I'm going to use Notepad++ to edit the files. The BMX file that we are looking at right now is IAMM Presence 86, and you only need to add one line to this file. You can add it at any point, but I usually add it just where the Ethernet properties are. This is what you need to add. Ethernet 0.virtualdev equals BMX net 3. I'm going to save the file and I'm going to go to the CUCM file, which you can see the name changes here in the MVRAM. I'm going to look for the Ethernet and I'm going to add that same line and I'm going to save those. Now I can close Notepad++ and we need to go back to the data store browser. You need to click on the folder in which you are going to upload and in here you have the option to upload a file or upload a folder. I'm going to upload the file for CUCM and I'm going to do the same for the file for IAM and Presence. We can close it for just a moment, we're going to use it another time, but I want to show you how this is going to change. If we go to the publisher for my CUCM and we click on the settings, we are going to see that the network adapter right now is flexible. If we go to IAM and Presence, it should be exactly the same. What you need to do right now is to right click on it and then click Remove from Inventory. You need to click Yes. We need to do the same for IAM and Presence. Now we go back to our data store, we browse to it one more time. We we'll look for the BMX that we modified and we click on Add to Inventory. We we'll repeat the same procedure for IMO Presence. Now we go back to the virtual machines and if we take a look at the settings, we will see that the BM adapter. In this case, it's VMXNet3. We need to verify that for IAM presence as well. In this case, those were all the settings that we had to change for the virtual machines. Once I start the CUCM server, it will take that new hard disk space that I added, and the virtual disk size will increase. I will make sure to record that so that you can see it. The IAM presence server is not going to show that change. I'm going to start the virtual machines with the new settings. I'm going to start with the CSEM virtual machine so you can see the changes.
Now that CUCM has started, I'm going to give it about 15 or 20 minutes and then I'm going to start IMM presence. It has been about 25 minutes since I started CUCM and the CPU usage has stabilized. Now I'm going to start IMM presence and as you will notice, there will be no change during the build process due to the change of the OS. Just as with CSM, I'm going to give it about another 15 or 20 minutes before I log in and then I will start with the upgrade procedure. The virtual machines are up and running and we're going to start with the upgrade procedure. I'm going to load the ISO into my CSM virtual machine. Once you have uploaded the file, you need to go to the OS admin and one thing I want you to notice at this point in time is that the specifications for the virtual machine have changed. As you can see, disk 2 shows us 110 gigabytes and we also show 8 gigs of RAM. We go to software upgrades, install upgrade and we're going to choose DVD CD. We need to specify the directory. As you can see, it has recognized the upgrade file. We're going to click on Next. As you can see, we have a lot of warnings for this upgrade. We're going to see the current version, the upgrade version, and we also have some more warnings about any unused packs or licenses, because since the licensing scheme changed, you will not be able to use those when you upgrade to 10 or later. Another warning about this being a refresh upgrade and that it will take a lot more time and multiple reboots. Right now we're going to tell it to switch to the new version after the upgrade. We're going to click on next. Once again, the warning about any unused packs or licenses. We're going to click on OK because I do not have any licenses right now for the server. The warning about the refresh upgrade. We're going to click OK. We have already read that warning. And the procedure is going to start right now. Since this will take a lot of time, I'm not going to show you the whole procedure. It will probably take about anywhere between 2 and 4 hours. I'm going to keep monitoring this, and once it has finished, I will show you the last messages and how it has successfully upgraded to 11.0. And then we will upgrade our IEM and Presence 86 to IEM and Presence 11 as well. The upgrade procedure is still running, I just wanted to show you that we are going on the first of the many reboots that are going to happen. If you log to the CLI via vSphere, you will see that the services are being shut down and you will see this message on the GUI. CUCM has just finished with the upgrade. As you can see on the screen, the new version is 11.01 and it took about 3 hours to complete with this upgrade. I'm going to leave it for about 15-20 minutes while the CPU stabilizes. Right now it's spiking because it's starting all the new services. Once that's done, I'm going to start with the present server. 
With CUCM upgraded, we are going to start with the present server. And once we have uploaded the DVD, the ISO file, we go to Software Upgrades, Install Upgrade, and we're going to choose the source for DVD or CD. We click Next. As you can see, we successfully found the image that we are going to be using, in this case, 1101. We're going to click Next. Just as with CUCM, we're going to get a lot of warnings to make sure that you have a backup, to make sure to check the MD5, we're going to see the current version, the upgrade version, and the same warnings about any packs or licenses, that this is going to be a refresh upgrade and that it's going to take a lot more time than an usual upgrade. We're going to choose switch to the new version after upgrade, just as we did with CSEM. We're going to click next, as with CSEM, the same two warnings about packs or licenses, about the refresh upgrade, off we go with the procedure. Just as with CUCM, the services for the present server are shutting down, and as you can see, we have the same message. IEMAN Presence has just finished with the upgrade. It took about 2 hours and 4 minutes for it to finish. As with CSEM, I'm going to give it about 15 or 20 minutes before I try to log in and to make sure that all the services are up and running. I'm going to log in into CSEM. We already can see some of the options that you could only see if you are running 11. We can see the software portal and we also see the Cisco Prime License Manager. Let's try to log in into the CUCM admin. We're getting the error that we are in the 60 day period in which we need to fix the licensing. As you can see, we have 11.01 shown here. Let's see if the IAM on present server has also been added. We go to server. As you can see, IAM on presence 8.6 pop.pdimx.cisco.com has been successfully added to my CUCM server and that is the correct outcome. This was all the procedure that you need to follow in order to upgrade a CUCM and a present server which were running 8.6 and to upgrade them to an 11.0 release. This procedure could be the same if you are going to upgrade to a 10.5 release. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this was useful for you.